there are lots of things happening at the Greensboro Science Center. Not all of them you can see. In fact, one really exciting thing is happening behind this big tank, away from the eyes of visitors, but you get a special peek. So we're behind the scenes at the Greensboro Science Center. This is Sarah Holbrun, and she is the aquatics curator here at the Science Center. So explain where we are right now. Right now we're actually in the living lab, which is one of the areas where we culture jellyfish. Okay, so this is where animals who need a little extra TLC are getting that before they're actually out? So we actually don't tend to do too much rehabbing, but right now we do have 11 juvenile green sea turtles with us that we're helping. So how did they come to the Science Center? Well, a couple Fridays back, we got a call from the North Carolina Aquarium, and they have a STAR program there, which is their sea turtle animal rescue program, and they've been inundated with cold stunned sea turtles, and we're asking inland facilities like us if we could help take care of these animals. Okay, so explain that, because it has not been a particularly cold winter in North Carolina. What has happened to these turtles? We just had some unfortunate cold snaps out there on the coast where the water temperature dropped too quickly and being that these animals are cold blooded, they rely on that water temperature to keep warm. So when it drops too quickly, they become hypothermic and very lethargic, which allows them to end up washing up on beaches. So a lot of them washed up on the North Carolina coast. That's correct, over 225 just around the North Carolina aquariums. And so you got the call and? So another facility, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences drove out and picked some up for themselves. They took in eight and they picked up our 11 sea turtles. So what kind of rehab are they getting here? So other than the fact that they're gonna be gaining weight and eating a lot of food and being in a nice warm tank, our vet is gonna be doing a lot of work with them. He wants to look them over to make sure that they were only just cold stunt and they don't have any lesions or other potential problems. Because when they do become cold stunt, their immunity drops. So there's potential for them to pick up some illnesses. So what does the future look like for these turtles? So they just got their entrance exams yesterday, so I'm waiting to hear back on what the blood results, but overall they've been doing very well and gaining weight, and that's exactly what we want to see. And eventually what will happen? Well, when they've been deemed releasable by our vet staff, we're going to drive them back out to the coast where they're going to take them by boat back out to the Gulf Stream, which is warm, and they're going to be released right where we found them. That's great. So why is this something that the Greensboro Science Center could take on? Well, we're very fortunate in the sense that we are an AZA facility, so we do believe strongly in conservation and education, and this is the perfect opportunity for us to do hands-on conservation with endangered and threatened animals. And this isn't the first time that sea turtles have made a visit to the Greensboro Science Center, a temporary visit, I should say. That's correct. No, about five years back, we also helped with some cold stunned sea turtles, so we're kind of glad to see them back. Is, it, is this fun for you to be able to see this and to actually be, you know, making a meaningful difference for these animals? Yeah, it is really nice to do hands-on conservation rather than just talking about all the wonderful things our departments do, actually getting to contribute. Of course, you can't touch the turtles. They're just here for a limited time to do a little growing, but here you can touch everything. In fact, that's what it's all about, riding and touching and experiencing what it's like to be on a Harley Davidson. We're inside the hands-on Harley exhibit with none other than Indiana Bones, and we know that you are a Harley lover. I am. I've been riding Harleys for, well, 43 years. Whoa. And I've been riding them here at the Science Center for 25. Yes, we've seen you. Yeah, yeah, when we do our Indiana Bones dinosaur adventure shows, it's tradition that we end the show by saving the day riding a Harley Davidson. So I feel like I'm in my element right down here. Because of course dinosaurs and Harleys go hand in hand. Well they run on fossil fuels. <laughs> so that's that's an important connection. Alright, so you have to particularly love this exhibit. I mean talk about a kid in a candy store. Well, yeah, because when I was a kid I used to dream while I rode my bicycle of being on a motorcycle, specifically a Harley Davidson. Um, so this is part of an exhibit here where you can come into the uh, showroom you can uh, take different components from off the board to decorate the bike or from off the shelf 
to enhance the performance of the bike, put it on here, then you can sit on the bike and, uh, and take a ride. And you can even switch things over so you can oh. see yourself as you're sitting here riding. Because you do want to see yourself on the bike. I you mean, know, right? in real life, it'd be pretty dangerous to be doing that. No selfies allowed. But here, yeah, here, um, it's all fantasy. But no, it is a great thrill, and kids love to get on the bike and do that. And who can blame them? And this is the safe way to do it. it all right, really so we can take a little walk and see yeah, some more yeah. stuff. So from the dealership, and we're looking through the window over there into the oh, shop, cool. because even the most finely tuned machines every now and then need a little bit of help. So oh, they're working up. back there. Yeah, keep them in good work. Order. That's right. But there are a lot of physics involved in motorcycling. Let's take a look at uh, some examples. So there are a number of tracks all over the exhibit where kids can take golf balls, uh, roll them down the track and experiment with the differences that they get from starting in different locations, uh, letting gravity do it purely on its own or giving a little bit of help. And then when you, uh, when you roll the, uh, the balls down the ramp, they uh, will give you feedback on the, uh, the speed that we had. If you're, um, if you're storing energy in a motorcycle, you're storing it in the fuel that you use. Um, there's a reason why we don't have rubber band motorcycles, because if you store the energy in the rubber band, there's not a whole lot that's happening there. Okay. That storage and release, not very impressive. Okay. If you compress gases like air and you then having compressed them release Ooh, yeah a lot uh, greater effect yeah so uh, this is why we do not have uh, rubber band powered motorcycles but uh -huh. we compress a mixture of fuel and air the gas and then when it ignites it expands and that expansion pushes the pistons and makes the motorcycle go wow. but energy storage and release potential and actual kinetic energy. It's all physics. Uh -huh. Now, in this room. Okay. Okay, hold on. It's one of the highlights of the exhibit. <laughs> this is only open on weekends, but it's really exciting. Harley Davidson has just this year introduced their first electric powered motorcycle called the Live Wire. It's a beautiful machine. Uh -huh. So they wanted to share that electric biking experience with kids, so they've made available on weekends our local dealership, Riding High Harley Davidson. They were generous and set up this track, oh, wow. and kids can ride on these electric powered bicycles. And oh yeah, they're called Iron E's, and they're really a lot of fun. The kids will get on here, make the circuit, and they gain confidence every time they go around and it's just a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, kids who were a little bit timid about it and not sure after a few laps, they were pros. I mean, just really beautiful. And there are a couple of sizes so that if you're a larger kid, you have one size. Uh, smaller kids, uh, more appropriately sized for them. But it is just a great opportunity. So on weekends, not only can you enjoy this part of the exhibit sponsored nationally by Harley Davidson, but this great electric bike riding experience brought to us by Riding High Harley Davidson. Are the adults loving this exhibit just as much as the kid or maybe more? I think so. I, I think I've seen some, um, some adults try to collect some golf balls as they had tea times the next day. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, especially watching their kids riding on these e-bikes I think is a pretty big thrill. But I've seen a number of adults and kids riding together in that showroom in that simulation and just having a great time taking a lot of photos of themselves together on the bikes and uh yeah it's been really gratifying so um we're going to be doing some special uh, events in this room from time to time i'll have my motorcycle that we use oh, wow. in our adventure shows in here and uh, meeting kids and taking photographs and all on select weekends over the course of the three months that we've got the exhibit here come out and enjoy it through may right oh yeah um, and it's only going to get better as the weather gets warmer. Come on out and, and enjoy. From the roar of motorcycles to the roar of tigers, you've got to visit Animal Discovery while you're at the Greensboro Science Center because there are two new tiger friends here.
Carolyn is the lead tiger keeper here at the Greensboro Science Center, and we have two new friends here. We do. So we just received two brothers, Rocky and Jagger, and they are two Sumatran tigers, and they're only about two years old, so they're not fully grown yet. They have about another 100 pounds before they'll be fully grown. So what is their story? So they came from the Jacksonville Zoo, and they were actually born there. So we actually kind of have famous tigers because they were put on YouTube from birth. And so their visitors there and everybody around the world could actually check on them at YouTube. You can actually go back and look at the old videos of them as cubs. And so a lot of the people at Jacksonville were actually really sad because they had watched these cubs grow up. And so um, they pretty much came here because they were kind of getting full in Jacksonville. And we got a recommendation from the SSP, which is the Species Survival Plan, to play the two boys here with us and so we're really lucky to have these two boys we're really excited because they are full of energy they are really beautiful animals and they're growing right they yes and so they're gonna grow a whole lot right now they're only eating around four pounds a day but that's gonna increase quite a bit as they get to full growth now the Sumatran Tigers are actually the smallest of all the species of tiger so they're not gonna be as big as the tigers that we previously had but they can get up to about 310 pounds and right now they're only about 180 so mm -hmm. we've got a ways to go. Yep. All right, what do they eat? So they are on what we call Nebraska, which is a horse-based meat diet. And so it's pretty much processed so that it has all of the vitamins and nutrients that they need in one kind of package deal, kind of like a diet that you would buy for your cat or dog, except it's raw. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how have they been adjusting? What have you noticed about them and their personality? Yeah, so we're really lucky because they are really young, and so they've been adjusting really great. They kind of go with the flow. Um, their personalities are definitely different, just like brothers would be with us. They are pretty much opposite of each other. So you have Rocky, who is like really excitable. He loves to play with everything, goes right out the gate, and is comfortable pretty much right off the bat. And then you have Jagger, his brother, who's a little more reserved, a little more quiet. He's probably going to be the one that's kind of lounging in the back while watching everybody, while Rocky is going to be the one up at the window playing and looking at children. <laughs> and we, the exhibit has undergone some renovations um, just for these two. It has, and so we did quite a few things. I know I was in there spending lots of hours doing some stuff to the exhibit as well, but some of the new features that we've added, we have a working waterfall so that they're going to have uh, working water, and tigers are one of the only cat species that love water, so hopefully in the summer you'll be able to see them playing in that waterfall, along with we've added a lot of natural wood perching, and so this they can climb a bit. They can scratch their claws and we're actually hoping to add in a feeding station to that as well and maybe do public feeds for them. Oh wow that would be something. <laughs> what has the response been from the visitors? It's been great. I really enjoy coming up here. We do uh, keeper talks and every time I get scheduled to keeper talk I, t I pick the tigers because I love coming up here and talking to the guests and every single guest I have talked to has been absolutely excited and so nice and kind and talking about how beautiful they are and how excited they are that they're here and of course I've been lucky because the cats have been up and walking around every time I've come up as well so it's been a great experience and everything that I've heard has been nothing but positive and I'm super excited to have him here and I hope our guests are too and you know if you are from the Jacksonville area come visit absolutely <laughs> yeah actually I, what the person uh, I had a guest come not that long ago she wasn't from Jacksonville but she was one of the people who have watched them grow up on YouTube and so she was like when I found out they were coming I had to come out here and see them and she's like it's so amazing to have seen them as cubs and now see them here and they're just right in my backyard now so she lives in Greensboro and so she was really excited to have them. Oh, well, thank you so much. We can't wait to watch them grow with you. Same. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super excited to work with these beautiful animals. Turtles and tigers and Harleys. Oh my. Keep up with all the fun happening at the Greensboro Science Center. Just go to greensboroscience.org.